Hey guys, this is Lost Boy 45 here. We're recording a match of zombies. That's right, I managed my Black Ops disc to work long enough for me to play a game of zombies with a few friends here. Um, this is with T-Man, Crazy Nerd Kid, and a friend of them. Crazy Nerd Kid, you may know from the channel Cyanide and Happiness. Uh, videos, Cyanide and Happiness. So, uh, that's that. He doesn't post commentary on his channel because he, uh, wants to keep it strictly with those comics. But, um, it was a pretty fun game, even though we died. Um, I gotta say, it wasn't our, my best game ever on Zombies, but after playing Modern Warfare 2 for, like, two weeks and then finally getting back to Zombies, yeah, I wasn't expecting to do amazing. But, um, I did, uh, I wish I could let you guys actually hear, uh, the voices, but for some odd reason my audio device isn't recording audio, so... Not sure what's up with that. I will be fixing that again. Like every other thing I have to fix every week, it appears. But, uh, I kind of just wanted to, uh, listen to some smooth jazz and let you listen to that. No, just kidding. I'm not going to let you listen to smooth jazz. I'm not that nice. Um, so, uh, how about goji berries? We were watching Good Morning America, and they, uh, said goji berries are a healthy alternative to popcorn. So, we got a bag of goji berries. They taste like raisins. If you like raisins and you want to be healthier, get goji berries. If you don't like raisins and you don't care about healthiness, get popcorn. I like the popcorn ideal more. But many, 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 many people think goji berries are also pretty good. I like raisins, don't get me wrong, but I just not a fan of goji berry. So, oh, Sniper DHQ, that's another guy. He wasn't really uh, paying much attention during this gameplay because we, just before this, had played a round on Kino, and it was a really upsetting round in all honesty. We uh, ran into some difficulties, and uh, those difficulties were rather hard to uh, get past and move on with. So, as you can see here, I run out of ammo, and I uh, quickly get back in the elevator, and uh, I say, T-Man, I'm sorry, bro. But you gotta go. And it basically comes down to me and Crazy Nerd Kid, who is actually pretty good, even though he also has no ammo. Um, I quickly run to get the AK-47U, so I have some gun. I don't really care about the box at this point. And this is one of the major points where I just... I didn't expect to get out of it alive. I wasn't sure. I don't remember if I do. I may. But uh, if you watch for a second here... Zombies are literally going to be coming at me from three different angles, and I'm going to have nothing to do to prevent them from coming at me. So, uh, he got really tense, and, uh, me and, uh, what's it called? Crazy Nerd Kid got upset, but, eh. So, um, uh, then we quickly got on to, uh, getting the box, like, maybe ten minutes after, no, five minutes afterwards or so. After these guys break, and that was a big pain in the butt. Because he ran out of ammo, then I ran out of ammo, then he ran out of ammo. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good to run out of ammo and sink. But when you have zombies pouring in at you from every freaking side, it is not good to have ammo run out. And here I have four... The main problem with me playing zombies is I run out of ammo so fast. I mean, if you gave me infinite ammo, I could easily kill all zombies. But then again, that's part of the challenge with zombies. Not being able to kill them because you have no ammo. Um... I won't say that I regret doing anything in this match, because I do stand by every action I took, but I do wish I had made, I don't, I mean, I made plenty of small mistakes, but they were okay. In the end, it came down to, we didn't get what we need from the box at the right time, we weren't in the right place at the right time, and none of us truly could get that sense of teamwork going on. I mean, sometimes you log into a match and you can just tell you have a sense of teamwork going on right there. And you automatically get like 99 rounds. Or 32 rounds at least. That's what I normally get when I have a good sense of teamwork. But, uh, it just didn't have it here. I mean, don't get me wrong, for any of you who watched this who were with me, we totally did the best we could have been expected to. With two people left, it wasn't easy. And when people die, people die, I mean, if they come back, there's no way it's going to be easy. It just isn't an easy scenario. <coughs> um, 
one of the key points of this game was this box. He does get a ray gun and an AUG, which is a pretty good setup. I have a crossbow, and I believe I don't know what else I get. Something stupid. I don't take this, do I? I don't know. I do take it. Okay. I don't know. I make it again. I do. Okay. I know I didn't get many good things from the box the whole game. So, I'm... That was another problem. Had we got... Had I gotten, like, a freeze gun or a ray gun? Or, heck, I'd even take an age carrier. So some high ammo capacity or some really powerful weapon the game would have gone on longer it would have been easier but this box here gave me horrible weapons he got pretty decent weapons g11 was one of the downer points but he got really nice weapons considering he got the ray gun and the aug and um so i don't know i i give full credit to my teammates they tried the hardest they did the best they could Sniper's head wasn't truly in the game at that point. He uh, had, had a manager upset at Kino. I mean, in all honesty, that Kino game was kind of a big down point. We had a lot of fun and all sometimes, but the point we didn't have fun was the point where it just sucked. And I just wish the game would have just stopped right there. Um, in other news videos, I have seven videos to comment on. Hand to you guys, let you guys watch. Use more, make more, use more. It's going to be an endless cycle. Turn to Modern Warfare 2 footage. My Black Ops disc is working. Here's the deal. For any of you who can explain this to me, please do. As long as I do not use any of the two map packs, I can go ahead and use the game. But, if I use any of the two map packs, the game freezes and the Xbox turns off. So I get the Commando. That was a good gun. But, it just wasn't enough for what I needed. I need a higher ammo capacity because you all have died and know the truth. When you die, you come back and unless you have the box right next to you or you're in the beginning rounds, there's just see, there's a ray gun. Um, there's just no way to survive. I mean, you can have teammates cover you all you want, but you will always be going down and then you just lose points. So it's best in my opinion, if the teammate has just gone down after dying, let them die again. It's a bigger upset when they get really stressed out because they keep dying and they keep being revived. It's a bigger stress on you because you then you have to waste your time trying to help them when you have big problems of your own trying to kill the zombies. And it's an even bigger upset to those of you, uh, people who can't do anything. I mean, on Kino, if a person dies in the theater and you're at... Uh, Let's say you're in the lobby, and you had just teleported. There's nothing you can do for that. You just can't do anything at all. You can't go to revive them. If you try to revive them, and zombies are coming at you, there's nothing you can do. You can run around in a circle. I know, I know, I know. I love that strategy. Run in a circle. Come back. Run in a circle again. Come back. But no matter what you do, it just won't work. You just got out. Let them die. Tell them that. I'm sorry I couldn't revive you. But I had to do what I could. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people say, Why are you doing that, Lost? I mean, come on. Uh, they deserve a revive. They tried their hardest in the game. But it's just a major stressor. And when people get stressed out, nobody is good under stress. Nobody. I have no, not a single human being who is good under stress. So why bring all that stress on when you can easily just substitute it everything can go fine um here's kind of an odd point I'm not sure what exactly went down in this process here but it did happen oh uh, there's a death machine like it that's pretty nice eh? can't say that we didn't have any luck in this game because I did get some luck and I got 10k points at one point which is really nice but the lack of true I'm not saying that we had none the lack of true teamwork where all of us just automatically listened to each other took each step and we each worked out how to buy things and you know basically we worked out everything the lack of that was the reason we did die soon other than that the video is about to end uh have a nice day guys uh i did cut this video short of the death uh final death because uh youtube only lets 15 minutes and it was only 14 minutes worth of video so i didn't want to make you guys sit here for 15 minutes basically of nothing worthwhile i mean it's worthwhile and all to watch but nothing exciting. Ballistic knife, we um other than that guys remember to have a nice day. 
have fun, and uh, I'll see you guys on the other side.